could L solve the Kira case? L's no stranger to the entity known as Kira, putting his life on the line to defy the supposed god of the new world. A young Japanese man was able to put up an unforgettable psychological duel with a detective so gifted that at just 8 years old was able to prevent World War III, making use of unconventional and supernatural tactics to remain anonymous and evade legal consequences. Hmm, sounds a lot like another guy I know. So, today's video will put one of the greatest detectives in fiction against Yoshikage Kira, a super-powered, random and ordinary killer guy who just wants a quiet life. If you want to know the conclusion to this case, stand till the end of this video and I'd like to ask you if you enjoy my content, consider hitting that like button as well as subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. L is a world-renowned detective who is tasked with identifying and capturing Kira. L is known for his deductive skills and uncon conventional methods. He suspects that Kira is in Japan and engages in a high-stakes cat-and-mouse game with light. Ellie uses a variety of tactics to narrow down Kira's location and identity, even going so far as to broadcast his challenges to Kira on television. Now, Kira longs for a peaceful and quiet life, safe from any worry, and does not wish for it to be interrupted. Whenever that life seems assured, Kira adopts a jolly and confident demeanor. Although he's highly intelligent, his yearning shows in his dislike of coming in first, and Jotaro theorizes from his many trophies that he even made it a point to never rank better than third place in any competition so as not to stand out. Since his youth, Kira has been avoiding the spotlight, living a healthy life and following a strict regimen. However, beneath this facade of a simple, humble salaryman, Kira is very abnormal. This results in murdering random women in order to acquire their severed hands as girlfriends, acting as if the severed hands were actually sentient and conversing with them and when one girlfriend begins to decay, he disposes of it and goes off in search of a replacement. As L and Light square off, they engage in a battle of wits that forms the core of the series, leads him closer to Kira's true identity while Light, using his intelligence and the Death Note, works to outmaneuver L's efforts to catch her. Their interactions are characterized by psychological games, strategic manipulation and intense debates about justice, morality and the nature of Kira's actions. Light, acting as a high school student and son of a police officer, sustains an illusion of innocence, while secret working to eliminate anyone who threatens to topple him. But what he fell was to face this Kira. Here are some rules to establish first. This investigation is complicated enough as it is, so we don't want to make it impossible by giving Kira bites the dust. Additionally, this is Yoshikage Kira we're talking about, not Kozaku Kawajiri. Now let's imagine, Ellie's task would catch in Yoshikage Kira, a serial killer with a stand named Killer Queen, who can turn anything it touches into a bomb. The first thing that would happen is the Japanese government would notice a pattern of women going missing within a time succession of less than 10 days, which is approximately how long it takes for a body to decompose. L would not be beat to it and would rush to Japan to start to move past the cul-de-sac stage of the inquiry the Japanese authorities would eventually reach. The case of the serial killings continues to baffle the detective. The pattern is consistent, yet the method is perplexing. He fails to unravel this mystery, he must delve into the depths of the unknown, and the key lies in the scarce info he'd gather at that point. The victims all share common characteristics, seemingly unconnected yet tied by the same modus operandi. The bodies are never found. Knowing Yell, he would certainly look for external sources of knowledge on the case, and that's when the Morio warriors would come into play, or at least Jotaro. The detective would be able to make a connection between the Speedwagon Foundation in his home country, England, to members of the Joestar family through public records or confidential national security information about Joseph and the Nazi against the three Aztec gods at some point in World War II and all of this leads to one man, Jotaro Kujo, who's also in Japan. And why would Al even look into the Speedwagon Foundation? Because of its convenient technical support provided to certain individuals trying to find Kira upon getting in touch with Jotaro, the two stoic, cold and calculated minds would clash and eventually, through recognizing both intellectual capabilities as valuable assets to each other, now, being aware of the existence of stands, L and Jotaro would come to the inevitable conclusion that the killer has a unique ability, one that allows him to manipulate matter at atomic level, and this would explain the absence of remains. It's about maintaining a complete and total clean slate, erasing any evidence that could lead back to him. And for that precise reason, the stand user they're looking for may not necessarily have a criminal record. 
This could be someone who has managed to keep their actions hidden. A seemingly ordinary person with an extraordinary power. There is a pattern here, a purpose behind each victim's selection. To identify the user, L must understand their motivations, desires, and the underlying philosophy driving these murders. And the most abnormal characteristic of the murderer is his frequent impulses. He targets beautiful women, and based on the time schedule of the women's disappearances, L would concentrate his attention on men working 9 to 5 jobs tightening vigilance and real-time surveillance on places like the Kamiyo Corporation, the workplace of Yoshikage Kira, and just like L realized how contradictory like Yagam's behavior was on camera, like adopting an ordinary teenager act and still overachieving academically, Yoshikage Kira's obvious disinterest in his female co-workers is the one thing that would give him away immediately. Now, with his suspects list narrowed down to one guy, Kira needs extra caution to avoid being caught, and L's next step could be to have a group of skilled attractive young female agents, each donning meticulously crafted identities that entwine seamlessly with the urban tapestry. These agents infiltrate module with finesse. Their positions carefully chosen in a range of establishments, from quaint restaurants to bustling department stores. Under Al's orchestration, strategically positioned them as public spectacles, readily visible to the local populace. They'd be constantly updating him as to their positions and interactions, which begs the question, would Al be potentially willing to sacrifice innocent agents as opposed to death row convicts. I don't think so, but I'm sure it could work something out. As days turn into weeks, the agents inadvertently beckon the attention of the mysterious killer. Their presence, meticulously planned, becomes a tantalizing enigma that tests the killer's resolve. Amidst the backdrop of seemingly innocuous encounters, Elle's calculated gamble offers the perfect bait, a trail that the killer might not be able to resist. The problem is, would the world's authorities even believe that a serial killer Killer who operates with his fighting spirit exists, considering the countless possibilities the internet offers to fabricate evidence. The only way to effectively incriminate Kira would be to find human hands in his possession. Kira is nowhere near as intelligent as Zell, but he's not stupid either. Although carrying around a decomposing hand in a sandwich bag is pretty neglected. I didn't mention one extremely simple measure El would take, which is to monitor Yoshikage Kira's routine at his house and obtain footage of Kira's sinister tendencies as well as audio evidence of him openly saying he was indeed the one who killed those women. That way, Kira can be charged and convicted without the need for law enforcement institutions being constituted by Sten users themselves. And now we can only hope Kira won't just explode every officer who tries to detain him. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think? Could Al solve the Yoshikage Kira case? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, I appreciate it very much. With that being said, thanks for watching this video, see you in the next one.